What's going on guys? Welcome everybody back to the channel. In this video we hop inside game with a gun that was very very good when the game released. It's an MW2 assault rifle and I combined it with mags of holding and what this made is something that needs to be studied and everybody needs to run it right now. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and enjoy. Thanks to Damn Mods for sponsoring this video. They are an awesome Call of Duty service company. They go in, unlock all the camos for you, all the zombie schematics. They have a ton of pre-made accounts. They also give you the opportunity to go into bot lobbies to unlock a ton of stuff yourself. They have a ton of services for all types of games out there. Their Trustpilot reviews are awesome. Every single one of them is a great review, and I can tell you guys what, this is probably the best company out there for services. Make sure you guys use code SPAZO to save money off. All right, welcome everybody back. We are in game. I am using the M4 today. I want to get this gold this game. Um, I'm working on bioluminescence, so figured we'd bring it in. Plus, it's an awesome weapon. I brought in a ton of good items too because I didn't want to see how good it is with certain items. I mean, obviously I could get it gold without even touching tier three, but I don't want to do that because sometimes I just feel like I'd be wasting my time. Um, but yeah. We brought in a legendary ether tool, mags of holding, refined ethereum crystal, some perks which we can go ahead and throw on right now while we're getting shot at. Uh, but okay, I think we should be good. There's a camp right here. Uh, we could avoid it or we could fight through it. Really doesn't matter at the end of the day. We need to make our way through over here. Get on rooftop, it'd probably be better to hit these guys from afar. I don't want to take extra damage. Alright. We'll just dip. We don't really need to do that anyways. Uh, we're a contract away. We're a tier 3 contract away. From being able to triple pack. Which will be interesting. We need to try and get to that cargo if we can. Uh, the chances of me hitting a tear are very low. So I don't know if we'll be able to do that, but we will kind of see the more we move along towards the zone. There's an LTV over here. We could hop in this real quick, make our travel a little bit shorter or faster. Yeah, I'm super excited to use this. The good thing is when you use the Soul Harvester blueprint, you actually always start with the Deadwire ammo mod. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I threw on the Soul Harvester. Now, you were able to obtain the Soul Harvester M4 if you pre-ordered MW3. It was one of the pre-order rewards, I believe. I think for, like, the Pro Edition or whatever it was called. I might be a little mis wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was from pre-ordering or something like that. Uh, which I had to get. Because <laughs> it's a cool blueprint regardless. All right. So we can do one of these contracts. It really doesn't matter. If somebody grabs the cargo, then oh well, somebody grabs the cargo. I'm not really going to freak out about it. We got to get on this bridge. So we can make our way into the zone. thing about this bridge, man, is your vehicle <laughs> it will blow up very quickly if you're not careful. So many zombies spawn up here, which is the danger of coming along this way. Uh, okay, we should be good. 200 meters. I don't know if that other guy's going to grab the contract, but anymore, bro, you kind of got to be selfish with certain things. Because if you just don't grab the contract, there's a chance that you ain't ever getting a contract. Ooh. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> That's kind of a shitty move, but can't really blame me. All right. Right down here is the gas station to go ahead and grab this cargo. A lot of people will actually grief your contracts if, like, you steal it from them. They'll get mad. Which I can kind of see why, but then there's a point where it's like, bruh, just go do another contract. If somebody beats you, they beat you. You know, it ain't really that big of a deal. That was kind of like a big problem at the beginning of MWZ, is people would grief the hell out of your contracts if you grabbed them. It was crazy. Like when you'd grab a cargo contract and you open the gas station, somebody else would just get in the vehicle and drive it into the water. If they didn't get the if they didn't get the freaking cargo. That was at the beginning when like the meta to get the schematics was the cargo. 
That don't really happen anymore. I'll say that. Which is good, you know, you don't want it to happen. Because it can get pretty annoying. Oh, chill. We actually have a lot of ammo. I haven't checked what max is with this ammo, but we definitely will. I'm trying to get enough points to triple pack. We only need 90 more points. Give me this. Give me this. That's all we need. Okay. What else is on the tack map? Where are even... Oh, pack's up here. Okay. We should be able to get pack a bunch, though. We shouldn't really struggle with getting it. We only need a few more points. Thirty-five more. How much does the Hellhound give? Eh, a decent amount. There, we got enough. Okay. Right up here we go. We have 969 ammo right now. Let's see what we get when we triple pack, because that'll max it out. Maybe a thousand? I don't know. We'll see. 1,020. That is awesome because this is one of the best ARs in the game. And it kind of always has been. We can go grab this bounty. But that is actually very, very good. Super, super good, actually. I, I just... I, I do not like the Deadwire ammo mod. I say it all the time. I mean, it's nice just to have it because it's free, so I'm not, like, not going to have it. But... There's a part of me that just doesn't like it. Why the heck am I lagging? What the heck is going on? Oh my gosh. Do not crash game, I swear. <laughs> I have a feeling my game is literally going to crash. Which is not good. What is going on in the zone? It's still going on. Huh. Okay, it's a little better now. I don't know why Packet Lost is still showing up. It's a little weird. But as long as we don't crash, I'll deal with a little bit of lag. Oh, yep. Tiny Dragon just complained about the servers too, so it's not me. It's just the game. Yeah, hopefully we don't crash. I did see somebody actually lag out right before we grabbed that contract. Thank God it wasn't me. <laughs> I hate that dude. When lever like you bring in such good items, like the containment levels, it's annoying to lose it. But I get more annoyed when like I bring in legendary tool, you know, crystal perks, all that stuff, and then I crash and it's all gone. That's what really annoys me. What is this? I'll take that over dead wire. So we got a mega abomination right up here. I might throw down the sentry gun because I do have a precision. And I mean, why not, right? Why not just use it? So I bought a new controller, right? And I, I'm pretty sure you guys will know what I'm talking about once I say it. I bought a new controller, and it is so loud when you hit the buttons. It is so annoying, dude. Like, literally, it's so annoying. Because I know you can hear it in the videos, and, like, I have all the gain turned up. But it's just so freaking loud. So I apologize if you guys hear me clicking buttons. I've tried to get it to stop, but there is no helping it. How many zombies can spawn? I mean, for real, that is a lot. We need him to laser again. Here we go. Nice. There's a disciple somewhere? Holy, we are shredding him. Give me that. Yeah, we are just destroying that health bar. We have so much ammo. Dude, this build that I have, I'll show it at the end, but this build is so freaking awesome. Holy crap. <laughs> we are just shredding. Alright, well, that's easy. We need to find another bounty contract somewhere. Which, I don't know where one could be. There was one here, I was kind of going that way. 
We have a cargo. I'm sure somebody's going to grab it, though. So I'm not really going to put my main focus on doing that. Plus, I don't really care to do that. We need to kill. Uh, hold on. We have a zombie. Mm, mm, mm. This gun is super good. Um, we have to kill another mimic and then a hundred kills and then just extract. So I'm hoping we can pick up a bounty that has a mimic. I mean, we we can do it for sure because we can literally just go find a mimic anywhere. But I'd like to kill one that's a bounty if we can. But I'm sure we'll just randomly run into one and, <laughs> and kill it. Yeah, there's one right here. What do you know? We go there's that camo that's just 100 kills right, is it 100 or 200 it's 100 so we have to slay I mean do we got oh it don't ca it don't count your kills it just it's zero out of one so it counts your extraction okay I'm gonna go grab this hopefully I can beat everybody to it I don't know, me crashing there and me blowing my vehicle up. Might have just ruined it. But we'll see. That guy's coming with the scorcher. So he's probably going to beat me. Hopefully not. But more than likely, he probably will. No, he will not. It is definitely my contract. Thank you. Easy enough. A mecha abomination. Okay. Let me grab this ATV right here. Definitely make my life a little bit easier and quicker. So I'm debating if we should go to the Dark Ether. I don't know. We have a sigil, which is why I picked it up out of the reward rift, because sometimes I can't make up my mind whether I want to go or not. This is all you do. Right here. Then right here. Bang. Now we just chill while he opens his face and gets blasted. Holy. Zombies. Oh, I don't have PhD. Dang. Thought I had PhD. I'm not going to stop shooting. We didn't stop shooting at all. Well, we did at the beginning, but you get my point here. Holy crap, man. We uh, already have those. We don't need anything from that rift either. What is that bonus? Uh, we can actually drop this. Let me throw on some plates. This is for all the people that get anxious when I don't have plates on. Honestly? They just go so fast, dude. So I just, like, I'll throw them on, I'll get hit once, and they'll all be gone. So I'm like, all right, well, in my mind, I just threw them on because I haven't realized that I lost them. And then eventually, you know, I'll figure it out, but not all the time. Plus, I, I don't know, man. I don't really feel like I need to have plates on. Like, I'll throw them on, especially if I don't have a self-revive, but if I have perks and I have a self-res, I could care less to throw on my plates. You know what I mean? But I know a lot of people gotta have their plates on, which is cool. I really should, too. It'd probably stop me going down a lot. I just honestly forget. And as long as I have self-revives, I could care less if I go down. Man, it's part of the game. So I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't matter what a self revives for for when you go down you can self res up yeah we just need a hundred kills and then just a successful extraction and this will be gold which will be nice yeah I'm gonna slowly work on bioluminescent because a lot of the MW2 guns are super strong in zombies so like why not have a mastery camo for him you know I don't see why not. I 
Holy. How did I not just go down right there? If I get right here, he might laser. You gonna laser? Or you gonna be chill? I think he might be chill like that. No key, what about right here? Hey, turn around, big fella. Yeah, yes sir. <laughs> Mm, yeah, I knew I was getting hit by meat there. And here comes the other guy. Okay. Come on in here, buddy. Come join me. And then down here. Then up here. Bam. Look at that health just go down. If I get hit by a zombie, it's over. <laughs> it's not over, I have a self res, but you get my drift. There we go. Mm. Don't need any of that. I don't know how I didn't go down there. What if I try this in tax stance? How good is the M4 in tax stance? I mean, you could build your gun for tax stance. But it's not that bad. I gotta have close to 100 kills. I think if we go to the Dark Ether, we definitely will. For sure. I think that'll be a good thing to do. Should we go new one or old one? We need to go buy a buy station anyways. Uh, okay, we'll go hit here. A new one or old one, it really doesn't matter. I might just go old one because I'd be trying to get more golden armor plates. I don't really have any, if any. Holy crap. I'm going to get out of tax stance. We are moving. There is a lot going on. Holy crap. This is crazy. I guess that's why we have a thousand rounds. Okay. Give me uh wait, what do I have? I have one self revive, gimme. Okay. Should be good. We have so I'm going to drop one, stow it, so then we can have five whenever we spawn in. Which will be well over enough to complete the extractor. And then whatever else we want to do. If we want to do the outlast, which we probably will. Okay, give me this. Alright, the portal is just down here. We're going to go to the old one. Which should be relatively easy. It might be freaking hard. You never know. This one is harder than the new one. But you never know. It could be easy. Some games you'll have there, it's pretty easy. Some games, it is insanely difficult. Which is super weird. Okay. We gotta find the portal. Where is it? There we go. Nice. Okay. I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright. Let's do this. We need to push for the extractor contract first. So there we go. We have uh, five Casimirs, which we might pick up more from killed zombies or bosses. But we will see. E either way, we have enough. We won't run out as long as we have a good run. What the heck? 
I have dead wire ammo mod on though. Did it glitch it back? It might have actually. I can definitely see the game doing that. What's up, Mimic? Just let me get past you, buddy. No need to stress. Ugh. Ooh. Chill, my friend, chill. All right. First contract, the extractors. Pop this real quick. Get some of these zombies off my back. Up here. Throw that right there. There we go. Equipped another one. Start this overload. There we go. First one done. On to the second one, which is right up top here. There is a hellhound chasing me. You know what would probably be super good in here, especially, is the flamethrower, because it's like close quarters here. The other dark ether, it's more open, rather than like close together. And that was a terrible throw. Let's, we're gonna act like it didn't happen. We gotta do this. There's no ands, ifs, or buts about it, boys. Ooh, it's gonna blow up. Okay, one more. That was that one was pretty risky. It's because I messed up my Casimir throw with the dang Hellhound. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Done. All right. Let's go ahead and equip. Oh, we picked. We did pick one up. Nice. Okay. When did we get a legendary ether tool? Self revive. Some good stuff. Which is super nice. Outlast contract is right here. Holy. Can I make it? Leave me alone. Dude, ever since they added like that zombie spawn right there, that is always a pain to get up that dang zip line. Zombies, please get out of my way. Yeah, I remember when they buffed this zone. It was like season two release or something. They buffed it, made it way more difficult. And trust me, it, they did their job with making it more difficult. Shoot, I have Kazmir's. But I do want to try and get a few kills. Because I don't know if I have 100 yet. I'm assuming I probably do. But you never know. And I'd hate to extract and not actually unlock gold. Which has happened so many times in my Borealis grind. Okay. We're halfway. I'm gonna try and just get gun kills. Yeah, this M4 is definitely shredding this zone. With a no problem. There we go. Nice and easy. Mm, ether blade, nice. Okay. Alright, that wasn't bad, man. That was pretty easy with this gun. We're going to head to extraction. I hope we unlocked it. I'm going to throw the build for this M4 up on screen right now so you guys can get it. I want to see if we unlock gold, which I don't know if we will. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. I think we got to wait a second. 
We're almost 300 containment on this operator. Okay, yeah. Legendary Ether Tool, Ether Blade. I just want to see my camos. We got to go all the way back to the main screen, I think. Yeah, you got to go all the way back to the main screen. Uh, come on, game. <laughs> I just Oh, yeah, 561 zombie kills. We definitely got it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Have a good one. Peace.